with summer just, well, I say it's summer, but uh, with spring just arriving, I thought it would be a good time to check out some of the goat's solar garden lights. And this one uh, in particular is the biggest one I've got in the garden. And uh, it's not lighting at all, so um, I'm just going to check that out and see if we can find what's wrong with it. I think this one uses a lithium cell. 3.2 volt, it's a life PO cell, or a lithium ferrous phosphate cell, which should, let's see, let, hopefully it's not flat. That's an acceptable voltage. In fact, uh, I'm going to put that on charge, due course. Right here, that's a good start. The battery's not dead. Uh, that may mean everything's corroded inside. And this thing may be full of bugs. Uh, that's quite deep. I'm going to have to get a longer screwdriver. This one might do it. This thing could be full of spiders. I just thought I'd mention that in advance before I open it. Just in case it is. I'll try not to scream like a little girl if it is full of spiders. Ah! Fortunately, uh, not being in Australia, uh, it's not likely to be huge quantities of venomous spiders. What is it about Australia that everything, everything wants to eat you in Australia? Okay, well there's a spider there. A little spider there. Oh, it's not looking overly bad inside. I'm seeing little hints of corrosion. I wonder if it's a switch, although the switch isn't an on-off switch. The switch is just an intensity control switch. The circuitry is a cob. It's a chip on board. With a few support resistors and everything looks fairly attached. I'm guessing these two resistors here are the ones that possibly... Well, of course, it's a, it's not doesn't need a boost circuit, does it? Because it's got the uh, 3.2 volt cell, which puts out this more or less the voltage required for the LED. I wonder if the LED is working. Hmm. So we mark an LED, but it's not in a sort of like burnt out type of way. Let's uh, get my bench power supply, stick it on, put the voltage up to just the point that LED should be conducting, say about 2.7 volts, 2.8 volts, which will light that LED brightly because it's a white LED, but not uh, overdo it, not pass too much current through it. And it's lighting, so that's a good sign. Okay. Is the solar... No, the, the solar panel should be putting out power because A, the battery is not particularly flat. Yeah, I can find out if the solar panel is putting out power. This is where the little meter with the crocodile clips in it comes in handy. I can clip it onto the battery terminals and then put it up to the solar... Ooh, maybe I can clip it onto the battery. Ah, that'll do. Uh, set this to volts. Solar panel is putting out 3.6 volts. Uh, short circuit current of the solar panel just under these lights is about 4 milliamps, which is quite acceptable. Okay, so that's working. So what's not working? Maybe that was just a bad battery connection. I'm going to give that battery a wee boost and uh, we'll try it again. Ah. Uh, I found the problem. It's the LEDs feeling. Um, I found that when it was switched over to it, it's got a winter setting and a summer setting. The summer setting will run the LED at higher current because it's getting more charge during the during the day. And in winter it runs at lower current and it was set to winter setting because it's been winter. And as a result that runs at a much lower current and that it's just not lighting. It's got that parasitic resistance effects of a failing LED. So um, that's a bit annoying but uh, I'm going to work out how much current this normally takes and maybe just bridge another LED over the top of that so um, I can reincarnate it. In fact, I might just put a star LED in that. Depends what I've got here. I shall take a wee look round and see what I can find. 
Well, that wasn't too hard a fix. What I ended up doing was getting a standard set of one watt or three watt. I'm not 100% sure this one's rated at. Uh, I'll say one watt, but uh, it's the type that would normally mount in the star circuit board. However, I put a bit of Captain tape under it purely to insulate it from the fact there are pads below and the back of these LEDs tend to be metal and just tacked it onto the leads that come through. And, you know, it's dissipation when it's just actually uh, lit. In At the moment, this is uh, it in... Uh, the maximum voltage that the freshly charged battery put out and in the winter mode it's running at about 6 milliamps and then when you switch it to the summer mode uh, the current increases up to 32 milliamps so it's nothing really major it's not going to overheat the LED in any way so um, yep that's it fixed so back out in the garden it goes